assalamu alaikum guys i hope you are doing well please subscribe our channel if you did not subscribe it already to support us uh, and to get notification for the upcoming uh, videos in the previous video we discussed about uh, how to in install py charm and configure ubu with py charm uh, i hope that you have watched that video in this video we are going to talk about uh, ubu models that what is ubu model and how we can add a new field in ubu so let's just start ubu by clicking here sorry just start py charm and uh, we have already created uh, this config file uh, in order to run voodoo what we will do we will just click this run button to uh, run voodoo and then go to your favorite browser and enter the local host url so let's just enter local host 8069 is the default port and database manager so i'm going to create a new database uh, for example i am naming it as test or uh, Udo discussion so email as uh, let's just suppose i'm adding, entering admin and password is also admin uh countries pakistan and i am selecting the demo data so that uh, i should uh, get demo data aligned with uh, database creation so this will just uh, take a bit of time so we have successfully created our first database uh, now uh, what i will do i will install sales module these are Udo, all the Udo apps which we can install these are Udo default apps so let's just search for sales and uh, this one is the uh, sales module so click install and uh, it will just uh, take a few um, seconds to install this module as we have uh, selected to uh, to uh, import the demo data also so this will just take a bit of longer time to create the demo uh, data for us sale module has been installed and uh, we need to check uh, and click this button to check what's inside the sale module so this is the sale module we have uh, different menus uh, and uh, inside the menus there are sub menus orders and quotations uh, we have uh, products uh, so what we will do let's just open a product uh in this product uh, this uh, this is actually uh, we can say this is the form view of uh, the product uh, and these are our data is in Udo, all this data is stored inside the models <coughs> what is model models actually the table of uh, a database uh, uh, and these uh, we can see the uh, field names like product type product category these are the field names of uh, uh, Udo models <coughs> and actually these are the uh, uh, column of uh, a database table so uh, what we do uh, in order to check that which uh, what is the name of this model uh we have to activate the developer mode uh for uh, this purpose we have to click this menu and go to settings and then uh scroll down and uh here we can see the option activate the developer mode so click this uh option and uh, you can see that uh, a new uh, icon appears at the top header 
so if we click this uh, we have a lot of uh, options uh, which we can use to uh, add uh, our custom field to a model so let's just ignore this for the time being and um, go to sales menu and uh, open a product form any product so this is a product form so uh, if i want to check uh, the model of this uh, view we can uh, have our, our any field and uh, a um, pop-up message will open up to show the information related to this field so uh, this field uh, shows that the na name of this technical name of the field is type and object object means the model of this field is product or template what is the type of uh, this field is a uh, selectional field so i will just explain this uh, at later stage that what is a, a selection what are the types and uh, uh, what it means so let's just uh, check uh, where we can see the model product or template uh, in order to check where this uh, model is we have to duplicate this uh, and uh, click this menu and then click settings so after activating the developer mode a new menu appear with the name technical so all the technical information are uh, in under this menu like uh, if you scroll down and uh, you will see uh, a database structure so all the database related information are uh, here and in inside this uh, database structure menu we have a uh, menu models click this uh, menu and search for these are all the uh, Odoo models uh, currently there are 291 models uh, in this uh, database that we have created we want to see product dot template model so enter product dot template in the search bar and uh, click enter so uh, uh, our model name is product dot template so let's just click on it to open it uh, so we can see all the information related to product dot template model like pro uh, model description which is product template model name is uh, product dot template mm. and here at the if we scroll down we can see all the fields names uh, which uh, uh, exist in this uh, model product or template there are a total of 87 fields uh, in this product or template model so if we open up the product or template view we can see if a uh, product uh, category field uh, in models what we will do we will uh, have our cursor uh, and to check the technical name the technical name is category c a t g underscore id so let's just search this uh, field in models so c a t g id so this is uh, the category um, field product category and uh, click it to open uh, up and uh, you can see all the information related to this field so this field uh, is a many to one relational field and its relation is with product dot category which is an order other model and these are the uh, some of the attributes and constraints uh, which has been applied on this field uh, so all the uh, information are uh, stored in site the models uh, in Udo. so uh, what we can do for example uh, let's just create a new product like uh, i want to say laptop hp laptop core uh, let's just uh, uh so this will come up for example the cost is um, let's suppose 
80,000 and save it and you can edit this uh, by just adding uh, the sale is one leg for example one leg so let's uh, save it mm. so what we will do for example uh, uh, we want to modify this form view and we want to add a new field here like uh, uh, generation like for example uh, we want to see the generation of uh, this laptop so what we will do we will open up the models so click edit and uh, scroll down you will see uh, add a line this means that we want to add a new field so it uh x underscore will appear by default this means that we are adding a custom field like uh computer generation so uh the type of this field is actually uh we want to keep it as char like some kind of text field and we want to add uh, a label for it uh, which will show up on the form view which will be computer generation so let's just uh, keep it as it is and uh, if we click the translate table uh, this means that this uh, field uh, can be translated in multiple languages if we click this option this means that the field is uh, required so we will explain it later so let's just close it and then save it so after that uh, go to the uh, respective view we need to specify the uh, uh, place where we want to add this field for example i want to add it under internal reference so what is uh, the name of technical name of this field we can hover or it and the name of this field is default code so let's just see this field in uh, the view uh, so we can see that uh, the field name here is a uh, default code so we will just add it under it so field name equal to what is the name of our custom field x underscore computer generation and close it so we have added uh, this field in the view and then save it so close it and uh, refresh the view after refreshing the view uh, we will see the newly added field uh, on our form view so click edit and uh, you can see that uh, we, the field has been added here and if we hover over it we can see that the pro, uh, field technical name is x computer generation so if you want to make this field required what we need to do um, we have to uh, edit this uh, range to 88 and then click edit and then scroll down to the bottom and we can just uh, click this required option save it and then click save and then come here and uh, refresh this view so if we click the save button without adding any text in this field we uh, got a, a warning that this is a required field and we need to add some uh, data for example i want to add its generation so my laptop is uh, of add generation so let's just click save so i can save it now so let's discuss about the other attributes like uh, 
let's just uh, edit it uh, at it and then open up uh, the field so we can see if we can just make it a read only read only means that uh, you will not be able to uh, edit this field so uh, so copied means that uh, if we copy uh, this uh, record for example if i um, copy this duplicate this record uh, if this option is uh, checked then it will uh, copy be a duplicate this data also but if this option is unchecked uh, this field will uh, remain empty on the duplicated product like for example if I click duplicate so we can see that uh, this has uh, this uh, is duplicating and uh, copying in the new uh, data field so let's just uh, uh, save let's just save this record and then uh, we want to make it uncheck and save it uh, and then save the model so after that refresh this and then uh, we want to uh, duplicate it again to see what uh, ha happens so we can see that the field is uh, again uh, empty because we made it a uh, duplicate uh, copy false that we want we don't want to copy uh, uh, this field uh, if we duplicate the record so this is what uh, we have explained in this video thanks thank you guys for watching this video and uh, please if you did not subscribe or the channel uh, please subscribe it and click the bell icon to get uh, updates for the upcoming videos